Hey guys, this is John. King of the Kill has grown quickly, landing in the top 10 most viewed games on Twitch in 2016. Yet they've kept that homegrown feel by communicating their intentions with each new shift. The new H1Z1 patch and dev Q&A bring in a replacement for private servers and details the work towards implementing many other changes, such as the ability to spectate your team after death. Daybreak executive producer Chris Wynn said, Tonight's patch adds in our first version of what we are calling Hosted Games. This is ultimately the full replacement to private servers, but functionality will come in several phases. What they do is allow private or public games on a scheduled time. He went on to say, the first things that it enables is some of the community-run tournaments that were being organized previously. In time, we will add spectate access here for shoutcasting and eventually mod controls to have more control over the match. We are working with a few groups to start getting some of these games going again now that we have some support for it back. Daybreak is looking to enter the esports scene with this change. The hosted games feature allows anyone to run tournaments. It'll no longer be just the H1Z1 Invitational. Team Spectates have been a big talking point for some time now, but the headway seems to only just be starting. Wynn stated that it's hard to commit to a date on Spectate mode right now, but they are committed to ensuring that it works well before pushing it to live. In addition, the developers are making changes to the way the map plays out, no longer having every game end up towards the middle of the map. Lastly, don't worry console players, the devs haven't forgotten about you, but the console release may be uh, quite a while from now. We have not given up when shared, we are first and foremost committed to a quality release when we do decide to do it. You can find the full H1Z1 King of the Kill developer Q&A regarding the patch, private servers, and spectator mode in the description below. Do you think these changes will drive H1Z1 closer to becoming an eSport? Let me know in the comments. And please remember to share and like this video and subscribe to our channel. You're watching eSports on PvP Live.